And the winner is the Fisaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Visayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories from within the destinations I visit, inviting you to my world of travel and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africa can position itself to be number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. Hey, beautiful people! Yo, I'm so excited to be back and I love my new hairstyle. Like, I've been feeling myself. Like, I've missed YouTube every day, every month. My brother, my brother, my last boy, you guys might know him, Emmanuel. I was like, Fisa, you don't post a video. Have you posted? Like, it's like my accountability partner always telling me, Fisa, you post a video, post a video. So, here goes the first video in about five to six months. I hope you guys missed me. Let me know how much you missed me. By the way, is it okay if I continue calling you beautiful people or outliers? Because outliers is what I like to call you to empower. It's more like an empowerment word. You know, being an outlier basically means that you are not letting the odds defy you. You are, you know, breaking boundaries. Would you want me to call you outliers or beautiful people? Let me know. Anyways, I'm really excited to be here at the second event of Nigeria Travel Week. Today's the Travel Round Table. I'm really late because I had a lot of things to do today, but I hope I, you know, still have enough time to network, get enough content for you guys, and enjoy the video. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new to this channel. I am the I am the beautiful face behind this channel and i'm a tourism development advocate travel brand i have so many stories for you right but let me not talk too much let me just show you what this event has to offer enjoy what's popping are you just coming yeah I'm so we came here. at the same time say hi <laughs> Guys, so I'm going upstairs. Even though I'm quite late. Say hello. Hi. I can't see you. <laughs> That's a VR set that I experienced on Sunday. I'm sure the guy can hear anything I'm saying. <laughs> and that is the founder of Nigeria Travel Week, Mr. Ife. One of the quick things I wanted to say is that what I think sometimes gets conflated in the discussion about international validation is that when people from outside say, wow, you've done an incredible thing, it's just a marketing exercise for your brand. Maybe you have taken it for granted, but now you get to appreciate it. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I have questions for Yola and Penny. Before I start, my name is Isayo. I also want to be here for a focus on promoting travel destinations in Africa called Isayo. And I also have a travel company where travel tourists can book destinations in Africa and tour places. So, my two questions are to Lola and Femi. Now, for Femi, you mentioned earlier that uh, you encourage more collaborations. Now, have you, have you ever done any chocolate exhibitions or partner with tour operators to do food tasting events or food tourism sort of? That would be a good um, idea for you if you haven't done that. Now, when, how did you start? How did you get your first clients? Was it through a family and friend? Um, and what makes your product different from the likes of Dr. Ron and the rest? That's what I mean. But Lola, now that we guys it was at this point wolfgang heard my voice and told me to join the next panel to speak impromptu as we speak now we have a program running now that we're calling for startups with different ideas that can change the way we consume tourism and i'm proud to say that one of the guys in p2 in madrid had an investor coming in for 50 million euro you know for his project so if you look at it from the point of view that you can explore destinations and promote it, but is it that you have, do you have the infrastructure to be 
for the panel. Then my question for the Fisayo is, she happens to be a podcaster, a blogger and a vlogger. So I wanted to ask, in the Nigerian landscape or in the content creation landscape, since you are into these three things simultaneously, which one do you think better translates information to your audience? Social media is a tool for most that will help drive the audience to your, to your blog, to your podcast, or to your YouTube channel that you might want to start. Now, when you want to start with social media, the easiest thing would be what is your strength? Is your strength writing? Is your strength making videos? Is your strength podcast or making audio, audio content creation? That's what you leverage on. You will not leverage on who? Um, what does it mean for me? Let me leverage on my skills. Your skills and your passion is what's going to drive you to continue. Once you know how to. By the way, we also train people on how to you know, start and go and monetize their content creation business. So we can talk with them for this. So yeah, no. Yeah. She knows what she wants. She's getting it, and I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Are you all very excited? Yes. yes. Many years ago, on British colonies in the Americas, slaves, those who have become free, who have gained their freedom, were being brought back to where they call Freetown. That was why they call the place Freetown. Once you're able to find yourself there, mm -hmm. you become free. free. Mm. So some were not able to trace their route to their village or towns in West Africa. So they stayed. But after a while, some of them were able to locate their origin. So this family came and they settled in Lagos, built a house in 1926 here. That's where we call Onikon House today. And the place is historical. So you learn about the family, who they are, where they are originally from here in Yoruba land in Nigeria. So how has your experience been since you got here so far? Well, so far so good. We had a good day, I think, yesterday. Yeah. As you would know, because yeah, I invited yeah. you onto the panel. Yes, it did. And, uh, she I told you guys. was unable to actually stay on. She had other commitments at that time. Oh. She told me later. And uh, it was great to have you on the panel. Thank you very much. Thank media. you. It's a video. It's a video. It's a video. Yeah, he's just it's just a video. <laughs> Oh, oh no, that is, that is all right. The more in the picture, the merrier. So show yourself again. So you're a veteran now. You've been here several. One or two, on, on one or two of these flights. Uh, I remember being in Kano. I remember being in Abuja. And then my next trip was with the Rwanda, the inaugural flight, and the opposite route between Kigali and Lagos. And in fact, from Lagos, we flew up to Abuja because the main celebration was held in Abuja. And then again, I came for the first edition of the Nigeria Travel Week. So you've experienced Zuma Rock and every other attraction yeah. in Abuja, yeah. even in Kano. So did you go to Kajuru Castle? No. Have you ever been on any farm trip in Nigeria? Me? No, I have not. Oh, she. She, she, she. she. <laughs> I've never been on any tour of Nigeria. So just business, you come in and yeah. go out. Come in and out on business and never have time to. Sometimes you've not even explored Nigeria. I know. Yeah, 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 destination. So you specialize in South Africa alone, right? Sorry? You specialize in South African travel and tourism alone. Right, so what do you expect from today? Today, I, I know that I'm going to see a side of uh, Nigeria that I haven't before. Okay. Probably some attractions that will change some perceptions that I've got. Mm. Mm. Tell me those perceptions, please. Look, I mean, because all the trips that I've made, I've always stayed in, in the in, in hotels. In Lagos, okay, in the hotels Lagos. And the, you know, in the city. I haven't seen the natural side of mm. Nigeria. I haven't seen the cultural side of Nigeria. I know that you guys have got some amazing natural attractions. You've got yeah, amazing we do. nature reserves. You got to experience that yeah. first year. You've got nature reserves and parks, you know. So we're currently at Loving Lagos. This is, is this the oldest house? You think so? We are going to find out more about this um, historical house. There's a lot of story to be told about it. Say for every good thing, ladies first. 
as it were, Lagos, the history is quite controversial mm. because people say different things the way they see it. So the house was built by Joseph Akonoui. Um, he lived around, he was born around 1900. The house uh, was built in 1939. Conduct myself in certain spaces will never be the same, yeah. knowing what I know. I mean, two nights ago, I was watching a friend of mine that I'm staying with says, oh, come, let's watch. There's a Nigerian film. It's called The Bling Lagosians. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's the family there, it's the Holloways. So I'm like, oh, okay. So, and I like the portrayals. And now I walk in here and I'm like, no, oh, this, that's this is where it came from. Mm -hmm. But just now I start to understand where some people, even in film, are taking inspiration yes, from history. Yes. So they've taken the history or yes. the circumstances of mm -hmm. the Holloways mm -hmm. and they've translated it into their own story. And with that, they're shaping a new narrative about Lagosians. Guys, I've learned a lot about our history in Lagos. I've been in Lagos for over 24 years and I'm just getting to know more about Lagos is the same like far. Yes, no, 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 no. See, I want to hear. Oh, I'm changing. I want to There's no space. These guys don't want us to enter the bus. The exotic bus. Like, guys, you see, you see, you see. I didn't expect to see what I'm seeing here. It has a table. I see the chairs. Okay, let, me, let me show you. Let me show you what the chairs are. Like, so two scaffold. I mean, this is Lagos. Two scaffold. And then they'll have to serve you and bring. Imagine all scaffolds where they are. Everyone will be in the same way. Everyone will be in the same way. Enjoy traffic. 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 Enjoy